How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, I want to talk about a few key differences between VPS hosting and dedicated hosting. And of course, I've got two of my favorite web hosting companies right here, uh, Bluehost and Hostinger, both of which are very capable and very good and value web hosting services that offer a whole lot of features. And uh, for dedicated hosting, we've got Bluehost. And for VPS hosting, we've got Hostinger. So before we begin, if you guys are interested in any of these web hosting, services you'll find links to full reviews as well as links to pricing and discounts if you'd like to jump straight to that okay now there are many different types of web hosting out there but the three most popular ones are the shared vps and dedicated hosting these hosting types vary in terms of performance level as well as cost but how do they differ well Shared hosting is the most basic type of hosting. It's only really suitable for small static sites or personal blogs. And that's why today I'm focusing on the major players in the game, which is a VPS and dedicated hosting. Now, VPS hosting is where multiple websites use the same server, but have their own set of resource limits on things like RAM and bandwidth. It also uses what's known as a hypervisor or specialist software to borrow resources from the other sites on the server if you're maxed out and others aren't using their full allocation. Generally, VPS hosting is suited to small business websites or large personal sites that need decent resource limits because no one wants the pain of slow loading speeds on their site or worse still, to have their site constantly crashing. That's why VPS hosting works well. It's flexible in handling surges of traffic and isn't too expensive. And of course, you can always scale up. Now with dedicated hosting, on the other hand, you're in total control from the get go and you can choose your own resource limits. Dedicated hosting tends to be for medium to big business sites. But if you're ambitious, you can save time and hassle in the long run by signing up to a dedicated plan, uh, safe in the knowledge your site will grow to that level. And only if it does, of course, if you're planning to grow your site to that level in the first place. Making that call, of course, is not easy, though, and many may find themselves caught in two minds over which type of hosting to go for, in which case, let me help. First of all, let's just go through some of the pros and cons of VPS and uh, dedicated hosting. Starting with the pros of VPS hosting, which will offer adequate performance levels for the majority of websites, and it's cheaper than dedicated hosting, much cheaper. But the cons is that you can't match dedicated hosting for resource or performance, and you're still sharing resources, so features may be limited. But that doesn't mean that it's not powerful. It's a whole lot more powerful than just a regular shared hosting plan. And you still have the option to scale your resources all the way up to VPS 8 specifically with Hostinger, which is why I have it recommended right here. Now, some of the pros of dedicated hosting specifically is the huge resource limits and great performance. And it saves you upgrading to higher plans should your website grow. And of course, some of the cons is that it is quite a bit expensive and requires more technical knowledge. Now, the reason I chose Hostinger for VPS hosting and not Bluehost is that you are able to scale all the way from VPS one to VPS eight and you are able to get a whole lot of resources if you choose to. And it's still cheaper than dedicated hosting, even though you are getting a whole lot of resources with Hostinger's VPS plans. So it's pretty cool. Now let's get to resource allocation. Now the simplest way to think about resource allocation is like ordering a pizza. With VPS hosting, you're sharing the resources. Every slice, all the sides, and all the drinks, and even the dips. And if you need extra, there's always a chance someone may leave you some but it's not a guarantee. But with dedicated hosting, you have your own pizza. It could be small, medium, or large, depending on how much you need, but either way, it's all yours. Naturally, you'll be paying more, but in return, you have 100% of the resources. But with VPS hosting, it's still less limited because you hold a large portion of the server's hardware. You have more resources. You also get root access over the server environment, which basically means you can install extra software and edit any file on the server. And of course, with hosting, you do have the option to scale all the way up to VPS 8, whereas with Bluehost, uh, you only have three plans with three set prices, but it's a little bit more flexible with Hostinger, which is why I recommend it if you're going for VPS. 
Now, in terms of security, just think about security about living in a block of flats, as opposed to your own house. If someone leaves the door open to your building, you may be at risk. Sure, they still have to get into your specific flat, but there's a security risk nonetheless. Dedicated hosting is like owning your own property. It can still be broken into, but you can't be put at risk by others' carelessness. In terms of performance, in the world of web hosting, good performance is all about how quickly your website both loads and runs for users and how well. In the context of travel, performance is like a bus route. If only a few people get on the bus, the driver only needs to stop occasionally, meaning you'll arrive much quicker which means faster loading speeds. If lots of people get on or visit your site, the driver must stop at every destination, which inevitably slows down your journey. VPS hosting gives you your own bus, and if your bus becomes full, there's a chance you can get a second bus, which is bandwidth from another site in service too. Meanwhile, dedicated hosting gives you a turbocharged double-decker bus capable of delivering tons of visitors to your site at high speeds. With regards to configuration and customization, both VPS and dedicated hosting offer managed and unmanaged plans. These can be thought of like putting together furniture. With unmanaged plans, you're given the tools but must build it yourself. Managed plans, on the other hand, will be built and maintained for you. It's no surprise then that most people opt for managed plans, even though they're a little bit more expensive. In terms of customization, both VPS and dedicated hosting let you adapt your resource limit month on month and there's not much between the two. In terms of scalability, which is pretty much the extent to which your hosting plan can grow with your site, this can be thought of like the growth of a tree. VPS hosting is a bit like a budding olive tree. There's space to grow, but you'll never hit the same heights as a great oak. Dedicated hosting, on the other hand, is just that, a great oak. You'll have all the resource, security, and performance you could ask for, so there's not really any room to scale. You can just adjust your limits month to month, but you've effectively hit a glass ceiling. So this is why I would recommend VPS hosting for most people because it acts as a great middle ground for sites who sit between needing a shared or dedicated hosting plan and can grow with your site until you're ready to upgrade. Whereas dedicated hosting provides everything you need outright. And if your website is ready for it, you've already scaled to that summit. In terms of price, of course, there's no analogy needed here. You can clearly tell which is more expensive because with dedicated hosting, you are just opting for something that is that expensive and there's no way around it you're purchasing the right to use a whole lot of resources whereas with vps you can scale up and down whenever you want and of course it depends on the size of your website let's say you start with i don't know maybe vps4 and feel like your website is outgrowing these resources you can go all the way to let's say vps 6 7 or even 8 if you wish so so that's how it really works and you know most of you guys i imagine will go for vps and um, i would not recommend vps 1 i mean you can go with vps 2 but if you can afford it and you expect your website to grow quite a bit more just double your resources and go all the way to vps 4. So so hopefully this cleared up some of the main differences between VPS hosting and dedicated hosting. In short, VPS hosting works on a virtual shared server where you host your website along others. Meanwhile, dedicated hosting gives you your own server to work off. And as you'd expect, VPS hosting and dedicated hosting differ in a number of ways. So to conclude, VPS hosting is best for small business websites or large personal sites. It's the logical step up from shared hosting and has all the flexibility and resources you need to scale all the way up to you know a much bigger website and if that sounds like you you should definitely take a look at hostinger uh, but on the other hand dedicated hosting is best for medium to large business websites or influencers who experience large volumes of traffic and we're talking you know in the millions or so it's the best form of hosting you can get boasting almost infinite resources and unrivaled performance and if that sounds like you then go ahead and get bluehost so hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you guys are interested in any of these web hosting services, you'll find links to pricing discounts in the description down below. Feel free to take advantage of those while they last. They are exclusive to site starters, so make sure to check out that coupon. It will be applied once you click the link below. And of course, if you'd like to check out full reviews of Bluehost or Hostinger, you'll find these in the description as well. And of course, they're both covered by a 30-day money-back guarantee, and they have 24-7 live chat support. And Bluehost actually has phone support, so if that's something 
something that you're interested in, you can definitely go ahead and contact them. And of course, have international support as well. So that's pretty much it for this video. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything web hosting. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.